Banjing Jumping I'm Steve Ember And I'm Shirley Griffith With Exploration in VOA Special English Imagine Standing at the edge of a tall bridge Hundreds of meters below you River water rushes by You take a deep breath and jump off the bridge Heart burst into thin air As a reaction to such excitement and fear The hormone adrenaline floods through your body There is nothing but a long rubber rope attached to your ankles holding on to your very life some people call in crazy others say it, it's exciting whatever you might think bungee jumping has become a popular extreme sport all over the world Bungee jumping is not a new activity. Men on Pen Pentecost Island in the South Pacific have been doing land jumping for hundreds of years. The Manti, long fingers from plants around their ankles. They spend day building tall towers out of Venus and logs then they jump off the structures it takes a great deal of skill to jump correctly and safely land diving for them is an important culture cultural activity according to their beliefs The first land difference was a moment. She decides to run away for her abusive husband. So she climbed up a tall tree and did some fitness around her feet. Her husband chased after her up. The tree he rushed off to grab her, but the woman, but the woman jumped, and the man followed. The Venus saved her life, but her husband died. Landy Fing has become a way in which. Tech Island men show their bravery in front of the woman. People of the village sing loud song to show their support for the brave bravers. This tradition is also a way for the men to voice their troubles in public. For example, a man cast this. Discuss his marriage problems before he jumped. The villagers, including his wife, must stand and listen. This Asian custom caught the interest of some students at Oxford University in England in the late 1970s. They formed a group called the Dangerous Sport Club. They like to invent risky and some teams crazy activities. They were some of the first people to test several of what are now called extreme sport. They are said have invented modern bungee jumping
in the spring of 1979, members of the group jumped of the Clifton Suspension Bridge in Bristol, England. They were attacked to the bridge by a bungee cord, a long elastic rope that stretched. They were dressed in black and white clothing and held bottles of camping wine. The press quickly report on their wild activities. The group soon received even more attention when they organized and bungee jump of the Gold Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California. A man named A. G. Hackett of New Zealand later heard about this group. He decided to make the sport into a business. Mr. Hackett worked with his friend Harry Van Ox, who has an expert at skilling. They started developing bungee ropes and materials. Sciences at Auckland University helped them. The two men knew that people would find bungee jumping exciting and fun, and and they knew people would pay money for the experience. To show the world uh, about bungee jumping, they held a major jump in 1987 of the famous Eiffel Towers in Paris, France. They, they later got permission to open the first bungee jumping operation on the Kawarau Bridge in Queens, Queenstown, New Zealand. Many people paid $75 to jump off the bridge with a bungee cord attached to their ankles. Mr. Hackett worked hard to make sure the public know how safe his matters were. He developed a method to warrant safety called, he, called the bungee code of parties. Bungee jumping might seem frightening, but is a very safe activity if you go to a well established bungee jump company. People who work for bungee operators usually have a great deal of training and experience. They use very strong and carefully made rubber ropes. They house a rope busted based on the jumper body weight. This is so the this is so they can manage how much the rope stretch when person falls. The rope <coughs> attached through a harness <coughs> device tied around the jumper ankles. Often of rotors use a body harness as well. This is so that you have twist the protection in case on harness breaks. Good bungee bungee operators <coughs> make sure our equipment is is in excellent condition. They should also do several checks to make sure our ropes, harness, and tires are correctly attached. 
it is important to remember to remember that this sport is not safe for everyone. People who have high blood pressure or a heart condition should not try jumping. People with back or knee injuries of who suffer from epilepsy should also avoid this sport. And remember, if you do not feel like ex expressing it yourself, you can always watch other jump, other people jump. <laughs> now you have jumped, bounced up and down several times on the rubber rope, and are hanging by you uncles in the middle of the air you may be wondering what you are supposed to do now do not worry the operators have different choice for getting you back to learn right side up again oftentimes a bungee great on a rope will attach to your rope and help you back up up to the structure you jumped from. One extreme sport company gives a warning on its website. It warns the bungee jumping might lead to big smile and deep feelings of happiness and excitement. Since it's been in New Zealand, commercial bungee jumping has spread to countries everywhere. One of the highest bungee jumps in the world from a structure is near Locarno. Switzerland over the Verjaska Dam. The drop measure the hundred and 20 meters. In fact, you can see the characters James Bond jump off this ferry bridge in the 1995 movie Golden A. Or there is the 216 meter jumps from from the block block runs bridge in South Africa this is this is the highest single art bridge in the world of course not every place has a body of water with a bridge from which you can jump some amusement park offer bungee jumping from crane machinery in the Andes Mountains of Peru, you can visit Action Valley outside the city of Cusco. Visitors can jump from a metal box that hangs from caves hicks off in the air. Most of the companies can sell you video recording of photographs of you jump this way you can prove to your family back home to your where break in out to bungee now extreme sport companies are finding ways to make bungee jumping even more frightening some offer bungee jumps at night or jumps where you fall off a structure backwards. There are also bungee jumps for flying helicopters and hot air balloons. You can also bungee jumping for to some companies can harness to people together you so you, so you and a friend 
can experience twist the assessment. AZ Hackett's AZ Hackett's companies even offer a sky jump of the test building in Macau. Just how for what you go to experience to fast rules of bungee fair? Hoshia Mudzingwa Health run a bungee operation of the Victoria Falls Bridge between Zimbabwe and Zambia in Africa. He has been jumping from this 111 meters drop for many years. From the steel bridge you can see the, the giant waters of Victoria Falls. One of the large waterfalls in the world, Mr. Mudzingwa, explains the every hum, explains the, that every human being wants to feel the rush of adrenaline. He says, when you bungee jump, you leave and stress and bad thing behind. He say you come back up with a new mind. But what does a person who is new is new to bungee jumping think about this sport? Tim Rooney recently traveled to Victoria Falls. He only had 24 hours to spend in Zimbabwe but he made sure he found time to jump off this famous bridge toward the powerful Zambezi River here is what he had to say about the experience Tim Rooney Hi I'm Tim Rooney from Washington DC Jumping off the bridge was one of the most spectacular putting moments of my life The idea hadn't really occurred to me until we go to the falls and we saw the view I decided I decided what better way to go to know this view than to jump into it. I think that the jump had more of a scary impact on my girlfriend who had to watch the whole thing. To absorb uh, bungee jumps looks like a trebly violent process but the actual experience of it's one of fruiting you jump and you don't have any sensation of being to target or falling or, or anything you just are floating up and down this is one of the most calm wonderful things I have ever done. I recommend it every everybody do it. This program was written and produced by Dana Dime Dim Dimangi. I'm Steve Amber and I'm Shirley Griffith. You can read and listen to this program on our website voa specialist english dot com. Join us again next week for exploration in voa special English.